Mr. David. Hello everyone, I'm Margaret McSweeney and welcome back to Kitchen Chat where we are chatting about tea with Bernard, the owner of Ebony Springs Tea Plantation in Sri Lanka. Welcome Bernard and thank you for this. Good to be here. Thank yeah. you. This is so exciting. This is an official tea tasting. This is how it would be set up at the big broker, the tea broker, mm -hmm. where all of the buyers would come and, and sample the tea. Mm -hmm. So if you could kind of take us through the process as we highlight the different types, the low, middle, and high elevation tea as well. Yes, yes basically all teas are tasted in the same manner, I would say. The, yes. the process is the same, how you pour the cup of tea. You need to... now. You see the tea is arranged like this because when we test teas, we first assess the tea on its leaf. Yes. This is the leaf. Mm -hmm. So that is important for the for buyers. They want to see that the leaf is good. They can say how good the plucking plucked leaf was. Yes. So they can look at that. Then the next thing you will in, this is called the infusion, and you would look at the infusion to see how the tea was fired, whether it was fermented well, whether the tea was rolled properly. Mm -hmm. you, you could tell that by looking at this. But, You've got to be trained to do that. Exactly. And then, and just a quick question. So yeah. this, these are like big pieces, yes. and these are ground. What is the difference yes. between in, that one? In this, you see, tea is graded according to size. Okay. So when you put tea in a roller, mm -hmm. the tea breaks up into various sizes. It okay. doesn't come all the same size. So oh. you've got to sort it into grades. Okay. So that's why right. you start with the large grades. It, through a series of measures that get smaller and smaller and smaller. Hmm. So you get the big one separated, then the ones go through, and the next one, okay. and it goes through, and the next one, till it becomes dust. Ah. That's the finer part, it's called yes. dust. So okay. that's why you grate teas. And another thing is, when you pack teas, it's very important to the person who buys it that the density of the grades is correct. Okay. Because if you pack teas in a machine, and you have a box designed to hold 250 grams of tea. Mm -hmm. If the machine finds that the 250 grams density is too much, it won't fill the bag. It will it will spill out of the bag. Right. right. So the density is very important. Density tea has to be simple. graded very correctly. So you can't mix BOP with dust or right. OP with BOP fanning or something. It won't work. Okay. That is why you have to grade the teas. Okay. And this is part of the tea broking, tea tasting yes. Yes, <laughs> experience. Yeah. So we up to the infusion. So we pour the yes. tea. And now here we infusion. have the liquors. Yes. So now again, you look at the liquors, and for some teas you need to have color. Okay. And uh, this is a white tea, so you don't want color for that. Right. Right. And there is also the thing that as the grades get smaller, mm -hmm. the color gets more dark yes. because the density of the tea is more in a small finer grade. Okay. Shall I pour this out? Yes, please. So we can show the, yes. the viewers how this is done. So there will be just hundreds of samples to be tasted yes. at the, the tea broker. Yes. yes. That's amazing. Hundreds and thousands, <laughs> really. <laughs> because if you take six million kilos of tea every week. We yes. I'm going to do this. Sure. Isn't this beautiful, listeners? Just the variety and the colors. I'm learning so much. And then this is the infusion yes. that we look at. If you if you look here, you will see the different infusion. This is a white tea. The infusion is very light. This is a high-grown tea, the highest elevation in Sri Lanka, and it's still lighter. And even the cup is lighter. Like I told you earlier, the low-grown teas have a gut, a very gutsy liquor with very dark color. Yes. And you can see the differences yes. in color. Beautiful, yeah. beautiful. Yeah. So how do we taste tea? <laughs> yes, I will show you. Yes. What we do is, we, after we, re we report on these things, the final yes. the, the final part of reporting is the liquor. So you take tea like that and you... You swirl it around your mouth okay. and infuse it with a lot of oxygen and air and you spray it against your taste buds. So wow. the different parts of your mouth tell you where there's quality, where there's bitter, sweetness, all comes from the taste buds that are in you. Fascinating. Fascinating. You like to try? I might try. I don't know if I can do the swishing and yeah. <laughs> everything, but I'll just sip it if that's okay. Mmm. Delicious. Yes. Delicious. White tea has a Beautiful. very, very mellow kind of 
delicate flavor. Yes. Whereas if you taste this, it hits your palate very hard. This okay, is just sure. Hard. We'll try this. You're right, yes. yes. This is very vibrant. Yes, yes. <laughs> and this is very subtle. This is mellow and... Uh, I love that. And this has a lot of the antioxidants. Yes, white, white tea is like the queen of teas for health purposes. It's full of antioxidants, phenols, polyphenols, which are good for your health. That uh, is great. White tea is completely unprocessed. You pick the leaf and dry it as it is. You give an oh. The idea is that all the different chemicals in the leaf, you get polyphenols, phenols, mm -hmm. antioxidants, flavonoids, and so many other components, they are intact. They are not broken, and so you get a light liquor. Whereas in a tea that is rolled, yes. the, the enzymes and all these things, when the cell is broken, they mix with each other. Ah. And there's a very complex chemical change, yes. which makes this tea. Fascinating. Oh, thank you so much. I have just learned so much about tea tasting, the different varieties of tea, the elevations of tea, all in Sri Lanka. So grab a cup of tea yes. and, <laughs> and celebrate. Yes, yes, savor the day. Yep.